Right now, at this very second, a pool of boiling mud in southern Italy is exploding, not once, not twice, but every few minutes. And an artificial intelligence system is watching it happen in real time, detecting patterns that no human scientist could catch fast enough. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Sazana Novae. This is not a movie. This is Pizzarelli, the most violently active degassing zone inside the Campi Flegre supervolcano. And what's happening there right now, has experts at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology on edge. Because these aren't just bubbles. They're called short duration events, mini explosions lasting less than one second. And they're a warning sign that pressure is building underneath 500,000 people living inside one of the most dangerous volcanic systems on Earth. Imagine standing near a pot of thick gray mud heated to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Now imagine that mud violently erupting every few minutes with explosive bursts, strong enough to be picked up by seismometers eight meters away. That's what's happening right now at Pizierre Le O. And here's what makes this terrifying. These explosions aren't random. They follow a pattern. A pattern that an advanced neural network has been trained to recognize. A pattern that appeared twice before in December 2018 and September 2020, right before major seismic crises hit the region. And that same pattern is appearing again today. The AI system, a self-organizing map neural network, analyzes 100 seismic samples per second, focusing on tremor signals between 5 and 15 hertz. It's designed to do one thing catch the signature of these short duration events before they escalate into something far more dangerous. What could that be? A phreatic eruption. That's when underground water flashes to steam so violently. It can blast through rock and soil, creating craters tens of meters wide and hurling boiling mud and debris across hundreds of meters in seconds. It's already happened here. In September 2017, just four kilometers away at Sulfatara Crater. A family walked into a closed thermal area. The ground gave way beneath them. Three people died instantly, killed by superheated carbon dioxide and steam trapped in a pocket underground. An 11-year-old boy survived. He was the only witness. That tragedy proved something crucial. You don't need magma to have a deadly volcanic disaster. You just need heat, water, and pressure in the wrong combination. So what's causing these mini explosions at Pisirelli right now? Scientists have mapped it out using electrical resistivity tomography, a technique that sends electrical currents through the ground to create three-dimensional images of what's happening below the surface. What they found is a vertical channel 20 meters deep feeding directly from a massive geothermal reservoir three to four kilometers beneath the crater. That reservoir is heated by magma. It's releasing over 600 tons of carbon dioxide every single day. To put that in perspective, that's the same output as a medium-sized arc volcano on the verge of erupting. But Campi Flegre hasn't had a magmatic eruption in almost 500 years. So where is all this gas going? It's trying to escape, and the only thing stopping it is a thin clay cap seal near the surface. That seal acts like the pressure valve on an espresso machine. When it holds, pressure builds. When it cracks, gas explodes outward in violent bursts. Those bursts are the short duration events, and right now, they're happening more frequently than they have in years. The mud pool itself is between 95 and 110 degrees Celsius. It's acidic, with a pH of 4.8, roughly the same as lemon juice. Its diameter changes constantly, expanding during heavy rain and shrinking during dry spells. Sulza, in recent weeks, the pool has grown by 10 to 12 centimeters vertically, a sign that underground pressure is increasing. Now, Here's where it gets even more unsettling. 
The AI isn't just detecting these explosions, it's learning from them. Every time a short duration event occurs, the neural network compares the waveform to thousands of previous examples. It's building a database of what precedes danger and what it's seeing now matches exactly what happened before the two major crises in 2018 and 2020. Back then, the explosion started small, just like now. Then they intensified, then they clustered together, dozens in a single day. And then the earthquakes came. Not small tremors. Magnitude 3 and 4 quakes that woke up entire cities at 3 in the morning. Quakes that cracked walls, terrified children, and forced families to sleep in their cars because they didn't trust their homes anymore. Because here's what the data is screaming at us. The main fumarole at PCRelli, called the Safayoni, which means big blow in Italian, is roaring at 115 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to sterilize surgical equipment. And it's not just heat. It's releasing 600 tons of carbon dioxide every single day. Bah, stop and think about that number. 600 tons. That's not normal for a hydrothermal system. That's the signature of something deep and pressurized trying to escape. Scientists have ruled out limestone decomposition. This CO2 is coming directly from magma. Gamma. Three to four kilometers below your feet if you're standing in Pozzioli right now. Now I want you to imagine something. You're a resident of Pozzuoli. You've felt the earthquakes. You've seen the cracks in your walls. Maybe you've even walked near Pisearelli and heard that hissing roar from the fumarole. You smell sulfur in the air. You see steam rising from the ground. And now you hear that scientists have deployed an AI system to monitor explosions happening every few minutes in a boiling mud pool four kilometers from your home. How do you sleep at night? How do you decide whether to stay or leave? Do you trust that the yellow alert level is enough? Or do you wonder if the authorities are waiting too long to act? Let me ask you this, and I genuinely want to know your answer in the comments. If you lived within 10 kilometers of PCRLE right now, would you stay or would you evacuate? Think about it. You have a family. You have a job, a life. But you also have a neural network detecting warning patterns in real time. What would you do? Drop your answer below because this isn't just a hypothetical. This is the reality for half a million people right now. Here's what keeps volcanologists awake at night. The mud pool at Pissierelli isn't just boiling, it's changing shape. In the past three weeks alone, the pool has risen 10 to 12 centimeters vertically. That might not sound like much, but underground, that means massive pressure redistribution. New bubbling zones are appearing where there was solid ground before. Old vents are sealing over forcing gas to find new escape routes. And every time that happens, the risk of a sudden breakthrough increases. Because here's the thing about pressurized systems. They don't give you a countdown. Hmm. They don't send you a text message warning. They just blow. The three-dimensional imaging reveals something even more disturbing. That 20-meter deep channel feeding the Safayani? it connects to a much larger reservoir system. A system that extends horizontally for hundreds of meters underground. A system that's saturated with superheated water and gas. S Fums. The electrical resistivity scans show low resistance zones in blue, meaning waterlogged, high pressure areas. Now answer me this honestly and I really want your opinion in the comments. Do you think the Italian government is doing enough to prepare the population? They've held evacuation drills. Thunderful. They've updated emergency plans. But when the AI is detecting explosion patterns that match previous crises, is a yellow alert level sufficient? Should they escalate to orange? Superheated steam and boiling mud could be thrown hundreds of meters. 
rock fragments could rain down on neighborhoods. Nah, and the toxic gas release, particularly carbon dioxide, could create invisible death zones where people would collapse before they even knew what hit them. Remember that 2017 tragedy at Solfatara? That was a localized pocket. Now imagine that happening across a much larger area. Bad the but here's what's even more chilling. Pisciarelli is not isolated. It's part of the larger Campi Flegre system. Right now, the ground across the entire caldera is rising at 25 millimeters per month. That's the fastest sustained uplift in over 40 years. Since January 2025, the ground has risen 22 and a half centimeters. GPS stations are recording this in real time. Satellite radar interferometry is confirming it from space. And seismometers are detecting 164 earthquakes in just the last seven days. Some of those quakes are happening directly beneath Pizziarelli. So here's the critical question, and I need your honest answer below. If scientists told you there was a 10% chance of a freatic eruption in the next six months, would you move your family out of the area? Not a guaranteed eruption, just a 10% probability. Would that be enough for you to uproot your life, or... Would you stay and hope the odds are in your favor? Because that's the conversation happening in living rooms across Pozuali right now. What can residents do right now? First, monitor Ein V bulletins daily. The National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology publishes updates on seismic activity, ground deformation, and gas emissions. Second, know your evacuation route. Have a go bag ready with documents, medications, water, and supplies for 72 hours. Uh, third, establish a communication plan with family members in case networks go down. Fourth, if you feel multiple strong earthquakes in a short period, or if you smell intense sulfur near degassing zones, move to higher ground immediately. Do not wait for official evacuation orders. Fifth, Avoid closed areas. The neural network will keep monitoring. Scientists will keep analyzing. But ultimately, survival comes down to individual preparedness. The AI can detect the pattern. It can sound the alarm. But it can't evacuate you. Only you can do that. If this information potentially just saved your life or the life of someone you care about, hit that subscribe button right now.